What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review uh, and an unboxing. Uh, so we're going to do something a little different today. Um, I got some products in from Lutron and we're going to do an unboxing video here on part of it. I already have part of it installed, that way we can show it to you here. So what we're looking at is the Lutron Cassetta. And I might be too far away for the camera to pick up on it. There we go. So this is the Cassetta Wireless Smart Light Switch and Pico Remote. So let's open this up and see what you get in the kit here and go over some of the, the details on it. So opening the kit up. So you get a couple things here. You get the install kit, and we'll go over that in a minute here. Uh, what do you got here? A warranty card and a quick start guide and everything that you're gonna need. So let's crack this open here. All right, so once you get the annoying plastic shell open, uh, the first two things you're gonna see is the switch itself and then the Pico remote. And then behind those is a little installation kit. So you get three wire connectors and two screws in there for the mounting. And on the light switch itself, which I'll give you a close up here in a minute, you get the Lutron, it's the screwless cover and the camera's kind of picking it up there so you see that there's no screw holes in the cover there now the cool thing about this smart switch is it is no neutral required so i do live in a little older house here so i barely have ground wires in most cases let alone a neutral wire and i wanted to find something that would turn some of our some of our three-way switches into smart switches so one of them being the, the stairwell you can kind of see here and the other one's the kitchen they both run on a three-way switch so there's a switch at the bottom of the stairs and a switch upstairs up at the top as well and then in the kitchen there's two different separate switches at two doorways um, i get yelled at when i come down the stairs or i go to the kitchen and i don't leave the light or i leave the light on sometimes i have my hands full different scenarios uh, this makes those lights which are just regular lights um, now they are all LED in my case but it turns them into smart lights without having to go out and spend the money for hue lighting or uh, Zigbee or any of the other smart bulbs that are out there and in one case particular the top of my stairs there is an LED uh, fluorescent style light so it doesn't run on an, the original fluorescent housing and ballast but it's an LED look-alike so it just has an LED light strip inside of what looks like a fluorescent light and you can't find those in Hue or Zigbee or any of the other companies that make them uh, I know Hue I believe is coming out with a replacement that will work uh, like a, a replacement screw and bulb for the the original fluorescent ballast but I'm not waiting and I'm not spending that much. That was a $20 light from Lowe's. So I needed something to turn those into smart lights and this is exactly how I did that. So once you receive your kit, the front plate on this just pops off and you are given this back plate. Now the back plate does have screws um, you take this off, you install the switch just like you would your normal uh, toggle switch. And there is a wiring diagram in the instructions. I did have to go on to Lutron's website to get the advanced guide for three-way switches because you're going to have that third traveler wire. Um, and what you do is you open up these wires here. So it's real simple to hook up. You have a ground wire, which is your green. And then you have two black wires. Now, the nice part about this setup is it doesn't matter which of these you use. Um, 
it will correct internally the 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 board inside will correct which one's which so one of the wires gets hooked up to the load and the hot wire the second one gets hooked up to your traveler wire because the traveler is what's going to go up in this case up the stairs to the other switch so this one i actually have installed in uh, the downstairs portion of the steps and like i said i'll show you that here in a second and then upstairs we remove the switch completely so you take the switch out you, all you do is wire wire nut the uh, all three wires together so your your hot your load and your traveler wire you screw them all together push them back inside the box and oh, i do have the kit over here give me a second You pick up one of these and i got my table all messed up now <laughs> so the nice part about the uh the cassetta series is when you order so what we got was the starter kit so it actually came with two outlets two in wall outlets two remote controls and then the hub so the system does run on a hub but you get a remote so if you're just controlling one light, it doesn't have to be a three-way. You get that option of having a remote control that you can put anywhere else and be able to control those lights. You can keep it over by your recliner. Uh, it does have a little piece of 3M tape on the back so you can stick it to the wall. Or you can get one of these. The light's a little too bright for the box, but it is a Lutron wall plate bracket for the Pico remote. So let's open this up and I'll show you what's in this too. So this setup here is the one that's actually going to be going in the kitchen. And I haven't installed it yet so I could do the video on it and show you guys what all you get. Now the, the wall installation kit is separate from the starter kit. And it's also very basic what you get in the box. So you get an installation kit. So that's going to have your uh, wire nuts. So if you're doing a three-way, you can wire nut those wires together. It has self-tapping screws as well as uh, regular machine screws and two drywall anchors. And then you get this real simple clear plate. Um, it doesn't need a box. You can install this right onto a wall, which is what's going to happen in my kitchen. And all it does is on the back of the Pico remote, there's this little clear plastic piece that actually holds the 3M tape to it. And there's a little piece of plastic on the wall mount. You just push it forward from behind and slide your Pico remote right inside. So then upstairs, this is how this is the setup. I remove the outlet complete or the the toggle switch completely. Uh, push the wires back into the wall after I connected them all, and th mounted this to the wall with one of the um, Lutron screwless cover plates. So then you get a nice little setup there. So that's what comes in the box. So like I said, you get everything you need to do the installation uh, with the starter kit. You get everything you need to do the installation for two in-wall switches and then two remotes. You have to purchase the Pico wall mount separately. And if you want the wall mount, come on, the wall mount does not come with a cover. Uh, so you do have to get that separately as well. Uh, now I have an extra one because the switch over here for the bottom of the stairs actually has, it's a dual gang, so it has our, our porch light on it as well. So I have a spare one for the kitchen now. Um, but these are nice because once you mount the switch in the wall or you mount the Pico on the wall, all you do is you screw the inside bracket to the wall and then the outside just snaps together 
So then it gives you a nice clean look uh, with no screws on the front if that's what you prefer. I personally don't really care, but it's a nice option and it's it, they're cut specific for those, those outlets. So you're gonna get a nice look to it as well. Um, now for the remote, you can also purchase a pedestal. Uh, so it's, I, I don't have one to show you, but it's just a little a little square base with a pedestal on it that the remote actually mounts kind of in an angle like this. So if you want to sit it on a coffee table or something, you can. They also make remotes that have um, fan controls as well as audio controls. This setup is compatible with Sonos. So if you have a Sonos soundbar or speaker system, you can actually order a Pico remote that will be able to control those. Now the, the in-wall switch and the Pico remote that I have is actually the dimmable switch. So you have your on and off, and then in the center you have a half cut button with brightness up and down so you can do your dimming. And on the Pico remote you have the same thing, but you also have a center button here. And I said the camera's not gonna pick it up because it's white obviously but there's a little center button here that is for favorites. Uh, so if you have a, a favorite light setting, if you'd like to keep it dimmed a little bit, you can set that in the remote, and then when you press that center button, it's gonna turn on that favorite. Now, as for the smart functionality, the uh, Lutron system connects to your, your three major um, smart devices so it connects to the Google system, the Amazon Alexa system, and the Apple HomeKit. It also works with uh, the Sentra by Lutron, Sonos, and Ring. So you have, I have full capability with my Google Hub or my, uh, my Echo Mini upstairs to control these lights. I also have a phone app that will control them as well. So if you're out and you're, or if you're not home, you think you left the lights on, you can pull the app up as well. They do integrate with the Amazon app as well as the Google Home app through the Lutron hub. Now the hub is for just that. It connects to your router and a power source just for uh, outside access. Now you do have to have it to control the lights as well, but if your Wi-Fi was to go down, you don't need internet. These don't run on Wi-Fi, they all run through that hub via its own wireless network or Bluetooth. So that's a cool feature as well with them, uh, especially if you live in an area where your internet's kind of not as reliable. Um, now, bulb-wise, so these will work with any standard bulb, so your incandescent halogen or LED bulbs, incandescent, they will work up to, and I am way too far away from this camera. <laughs> uh, incandescent will run up to a 600 watt bulb, halogen the same, and then LED up to 150 watts. So if you replace most of the bulbs in your house with LED bulbs, this is gonna take care of them. Most of those are only, what, five, to 15 watts mainly or mostly if you get into some of the spotlights or like my my hue lights might be a little bit more than that so that's everything you get in the install kit uh, let me get you guys mobile here and I'll show you the mount that I have downstairs and I'll get some video of the one we have upstairs to show you and show you how the install looks afterwards all right, guys, we'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so here is the installed Cassetta smart switch. Um, so I had to order a different plate because I have a, now I have a rocker style cutout as well as the toggle. So this is gonna be for my outside lights and then the Cassetta's for the stairwell lights here. Um, but as you can see, the cover was, the old cover was a little bigger, so I gotta get that fixed up. Um, but real simple, you have the on and off you also have your dimmable, and then you have an indicator LED on the side here. So if you hold down the 
dimming as you can see in the video here it's starting to dim out hold it it goes back up the indicator tells you what level you're on and then you have your off real simple it slowly dims it down and then your on brings it back up so nothing real fancy to it um, it works great the other cool part about this if you do ever have to service your lights so if you're changing your um, the light itself the fixture you don't have to shut your breaker off anymore with this right here is a little tab if you pull this out and I'm not gonna pull it all the way out here it actually disconnects the power to the lights so it is a service like a service tab pull that out it'll disconnect the power the whole way up the light or up the line and let you actually work on the fixtures without having to worry about getting zapped so that's a nice little feature as well let me get upstairs and we'll show you the pico remote installed in its cover and mounted upstairs all right guys we'll be right back all right guys so here is that pico remote installed at the top of the stairs um, so as you can see you got power on and off you have your two dimmer modes and then you have your favorite button uh, now i don't have the favorite button programmed on mine and give you a shot here there is that fluorescent style led light strip that i said i had upstairs so same operation so this one's not wired in um, the wires for the old switch are pushed in behind this and this is just covering the hole in the wall that the old toggle switch was in um, but same thing press the off button on and you can see there's a little indicator light that pops up there uh, but this is linked to the switch downstairs um, and then same operation here you can hold the button and the lights will start dimming out hold it down going up and the lights brighten up so and then if you hit the off button once the lights are off if you press that favorite button the lights just kind of come on um, when you don't have a favorite set they just kind of turn on um, but like I was saying, the, the Pico remote is linked to the switch downstairs specifically. All you do is you press and hold the off button on the switch until the LEDs on the side start blinking. You press and hold the off button on the Pico remote until the lights themselves that you're controlling blink three times. And from there, this remote is linked to that switch. So that is the... Lutron Cassetta smart switch, smart dimmer switch, um, and the Pico remote. Uh, that's all I got for you here today, guys. Um, I will be doing an update video here in about a month just to let you know how they're working out. Um, with the fact that this one is completely wireless, it is battery operated. It said the battery is supposed to be good for 10 years. So we're going to check back in a month and see how I like the operation, see if anything's changed. Um, but that's all I got for you here. If you like the video, Definitely hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when we're releasing new videos. That's all for today, guys. Later.